chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe shout out to the galactic family drew nation and the gcvs let's get right into it prayer against reactive abuse for those really narcissistic people that just won't leave you alone let's get right into it god there are some people going through some tough times right now because they're dealing with some really tough people it's hard for them because these people just won't leave them alone and they may be stalking them they may be following them they may be harassing them and they would like it to stop allow them to find mental clarity allow them to find peace of mind allow them to stay calm in these types of situations there are people that are trying to force a reaction out of them and they need to know that there's no power outside of themselves allow them to know that there's no power outside of themselves allow them to know that they don't have to react allow them to be able to stay calm and find peace allow them to know that they do not react they think they stay calm they figure out solutions they find answers the answer is to find peace within themselves the answer is to stay calm and to not react to what these people are doing the answer is to let go and give the negativity to you the answer is to let go and give the evil to you give the negative vibrations to you allow them to let go of the negative energy allow them to accept how it makes them feel not to say that they feel how they're accept all right don't let them accept how they feel excuse me don't let them accept how they feel but allow them to accept the negative emotion allow them to put some distance between them and the negative emotion allow them to distance themselves from their feelings because they are not their emotions all right all we're talking about is somebody that is trying to cause them some type of misfortune somebody that's trying to cause them some type of anger you don't have to be emotional to feel emotions but when you get angry when you want to hurt someone when somebody causes you to be so frustrated you want to cause them some type of harm let them not retaliate let them not deal with that anger let them not deal with that frustration let them choose peace instead let them choose peace let them move forward in peace. Let them love themselves enough to not get themselves in any harm, in any negative situations. I just saw a video the other day about Young Thug's jail cell, and it's about the size of a bathroom. You're not trying to live in that. You're not trying to put yourself in that. You're not trying to put yourself through that situation to have to go through court, to have to get locked up, to have to get put behind bars over somebody that's not thinking. Two people not thinking just makes two people not thinking. You don't want to be not thinking. You want to be considering the situation. You want to be considering your freedom. You want to put your freedom first before fools. You want to put your freedom first before foolishness. Don't let somebody antagonizing you take you to a place you don't want to go. They may end up going to the hospital. You'll end up going to a jail cell. It's not worth it. You're going to want to let that go. Before it even goes there, you're going to want to let God fight your battles for you. All right? You're not going to want to take it there. You're not going to want to allow yourself to go there. You're more powerful than these people, so they have hatred towards you. They have anger towards you. They have jealousy towards you. They have animosity toward you. But you have to let that go. You have to give that to God. You have to put God first. Any anger that you feel from them, you have to let that negativity go and give it to the most high. Any uh, uh, frustration you feel from them, you have to let that negativity go and you have to give it to the most high. You have to put the most high in between you and these people as a force field. He said he'll be your shield and he said he'll be your buckler in times of stress. All right. Let the truth be your rock. Let you be planted on that rock. All right. Let you stay firm and solidified on that rock. 
the rock of faith, the faith that God will fight your battles for you, the faith that God will destroy these negatives for you, the faith that God will destroy these evil people for you, anybody trying you, anybody continuing to do something over and over again in hopes that you get angry, in hopes that you get a reaction, in hopes that their evil will lead to their satisfaction, allow God to lead you to a peaceful place in your mind to where you're not uh, stressed and you're relaxed, you're not vexed and you can relax, you can chill, you can be calm, you can be safe, you can move smart. You can move with your mind and not move off of emotion, not move off of anger, not move off of frustration. All right. Not move off of of um, not move off of rage. All right. You don't want to move off of rage in times like this because they'll get you put in situations that you wish you could only get out of. They'll get you put in situations that you wish you didn't put yourself in. And it's unnecessary. What they're doing is unnecessary, but it's necessary for your growth. It's to bring you closer to God. It's to bring you closer to the most high. All right. And so it's, it's to bring you closer to your higher self. So that way you could grow. You could transform. You could take that pressure and transform it. Allow it to transform you into a better person and not a bitter person. All right. You want to be helpful and not hurtful. Allow this negative situation to, to turn uh, your story into something that you could take and help somebody else. No matter how evil and negative these people are, no matter how many times they try you, no matter how many times they get in the way, no matter how many times they be rude and corrupt and evil and negative, you have a power within you that you can turn to. You don't have to turn to that anger. You don't have to turn to that frustration. You don't have to turn to that negativity. You can become who you were meant to become all in the haters face. And they don't have any more power within you than you have. There's no more God in any man than there is in you. There's no more God in them than there is in you. All right. So you have to realize how strong you are, how powerful you are, how brave you are, how forceful you are. You have a force within you that can withstand any evil, any negativity, any corruption. All right. You need to realize that you need to access that. You need to use that. You need to ask God to show you how to use that. You need to ask your angels to lead you to show you how to use that. Ask your angels to lead you to peace. Ask your angels to remove those negative feelings, those feelings of hate, those feelings of anger, those feelings of rage for these people that just keep trying you, that just keep trying you because they want that reaction. They're desperate for your energy. They won't stop until they get it. They're just so evil and twisted. They just got to mess with you because it's their design. They're designed to be evil. Their father is the devil. They're demons. They're demonic. They got a legion of demons with them. But guess what? You got a legion of angels with you. You got your ancestors on on your side. You got the angels on your side. You got ascended masters on your side. You got the most high on your side. And these people cannot touch you unless you welcome the evil in. All right. You, you hear them knocking. Don't let them in. You see these people trying you. You have to immediately turn to the source. You have to immediately turn to that power within. You got to immediately turn to the good within you, to the God within you. Even if you get upset and get angry, it's better than doing anything that'll put you in a negative situation. You could always turn that anger. You could always turn your mind around. So that way you could turn your mind around from the anger. You could always turn your mind away from the anger, but you can't get yourself into a negative situation and turn away from that. What's when something is done, it's already done. When you uh, do something that you wish you didn't do is too late. So what you have to do is you have to continue to stay on the positive side. You have to continue to stay on a, 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 a mentally well side where you're focused on your, your well-being. You're focused on your health. You're focused on doing good in life. All right. There are people who aren't doing as good in life as you. There are people who wish they had your life. There are people who wish they had your looks. There are people who wish they had everything that you have that they don't. And they want to attack you for it. They want to try to make you suffer for it. But guess what? You can still win. You can still overcome that. You can mentally overcome that. Because greater is he that is in you than greater than he that is in the world. And that's talking about your spirit. And you have to go within that. You have to seek ye the kingdom of... You have to seek ye the... Uh, what, did, what did he say? You have to seek ye... Uh, the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. You got to seek the kingdom of God. That's within. You got to seek peace. All right. No, when you seek the kingdom of God, you will be seeking peace. You will be seeking uh, calmness. You will be seeking internal comfort, which will help you with the internal conflict. You have to seek internal comfort, internal comfort. So that will help you with the internal conflict. All right. Excuse me for the mistakes. All right. But 
You have to deal with this in the right way. And we ask God today that, God, you help us deal with these issues in the right way because there are a lot of foolish people out here. There are a lot of negative people out here. There are a lot of people out here that just keep trying and that just won't let up. And we're not going to stop trying and we're not going to let up. So no matter what they do, no matter how they do it, no matter when they do it, no matter who they do it with, allow us to go towards peace. Allow us to leave that negativity with them and where they're at because we're not our emotions. We're not that anger. We're not that uh, frustration. We're not that rage. All right. These aren't just uh, 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 just little uh, little uh, seamless things that we're dealing with. This is big stuff here because you could take that anger. You could take that rage. You could take that frustration. and You could hurt somebody. All right. You, you, you could end up ending somebody. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to be behind bars for the rest of your life. You don't want to make a, a state mistake that's irreversible just because somebody uh, tried to do something to you and you, you couldn't let it go. All right. So we ask you, God, to help us let things go. Allow us to continue to focus on our success. We don't we want to be uh, we want to be behind the beach. We don't want to be behind bars. So allow us to, to, to be led to be behind the beach and not to be led to be behind bars, because some people, they just they just won't stop. Some people, they're just really uh, negative people and they're just really filled with evil. They're really filled with jealousy. They're really filled with animosity towards us. So allow us to look past it, allow us to get around it, allow us to move over it, allow us to get over it so that we could get to our success. We can get to the bag. We can get to the money. We can get to the beach and have a, a day that's extra sunny. All right. Because there are just some people that are just totally evil and totally awful. So let us not be consumed by their evil and their awfulness. Allow us to get over it. Allow us to get through it. Allow us to get past it. All right. In God's name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. It's been another powerful prayer video and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace, love and light. They don't have no power over you that you don't give them. All right. There's no power outside of yourself except within your very own mind. That means you have to give these people the power in order for them to try to bother you or affect you in any kind of way. No matter if they're gang stalking, no matter if they're uh, stalking, following you, no matter if they're energy vampires, you have something within you. You have a power within you. You have a God within you. You have an energy within you that's stronger than all of that. All you got to do is access it, uh, deal with it, speak to it, put, put uh, aim, aim, what do they say? Uh, uh, tilt your head and look towards the hills uh, from which come your help. All right. So you got to look within and you got to look towards the hills from where your help is coming from. You got to look within and you got to access that God within. And that's that's looking to where your help is coming from. Don't worry about what they're doing. They might be doing it in your face. They may be trying to aggravate you. They may be trying to do things to, to piss you off or upset you. But guess what? You have a power within you that supersedes all of that, that will override all of that, that will help you mentally override all of that, because this is the matrix. So you have to use your mind one time, all right, to keep you out of the child line. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.